But let it be known here and now, I'm a Texan through and through, okay? A Texan who was born in Connecticut, <laughs> went to boarding school in Massachusetts, and college at Yale and Harvard. I would have gone to the University of Texas for law school, but there was, there was one issue. I was not accepted. <laughs> in one way, it was kind of like a, a fun, final way for me to kind of retire doing this, this character. Um, and yeah, I think there is, there's so much relevancy and, and poignancy to the, to the piece. A mere eight months into my presidency on September 11th, I'm, I'm interrupted from reading one of the more fascinating stories I've ever come across <laughs> with news that the world as we know it has gone cuckoo. You know, when we talk to people who've, who've come to the show, they, they, they said it's, it's, it's really funny, but it's really kind of cathartic <laughs> to kind of listen and go through what we've all gone through for the last eight years and have it commented on a way. They, they, they feel like someone's kind of sticking up for them. And, and uh, so that's a, that's a really a nice compliment. So stunned was I by the, by the news of the day's events combined with the power of the narrative of the pet goat <laughs> that I just sat there in silence for more than seven minutes. We have a device in the show where I'll, I'll actually give an exact quote and we'll put up on the board true quote. And, uh, and that's why we did that, because when we were going through the script, with uh, Adam, the director, he was like, D wait, d where did you find, did you write that? That's genius, or no, he actually said it. So we, <laughs> I mean that, yeah, it, it was very surreal in, in, in terms of doing a lot of the research that there was so, you know, there was a lot, there was a lot to uh, choose from. We renamed French fries, Freedom Fries. Oh, burn! <laughs> pow, 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 pow. <laughs> pow, yeah. First time I heard that, I thought that was one of the coolest things I ever heard. I can remember telling Robe, let's rename French kissing, we saved your asses in World War II kissing. So after eight years, this crazy ride's over and I, I gotta be honest with you, I feel as free as balls and boxers, you know? <laughs> I can now do anything I want. Hell, I might even have a beer today, you know what I mean? Or better yet, smoke a joint. <laughs> or spleef, as they say in the hip hop community. Put on a little common or Nas. I don't know.